15 Things You Didn't Know About Ryan Seacrest Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some interesting and surprising facts about American radio personality, television host and producer Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest was born December 24, 1974 in Atlanta, Georgia. His mother said that when he was growing up, his favorite thing to do was run around with a toy microphone and put on shows in their house. Ryan's broadcasting career began when he was just a teenager, and by the time he was 19, he was headed to Hollywood where his career would take off in a big way. Seacrest is often referred to as the hardest working man in Hollywood, and it's easy to see why. He currently is the host and executive producer of E's Live from the Red Carpet and Dick Clark's New Year's Rock and Eve. He also produces several shows through his production company, including the Keeping Up with the Kardashians franchise. And he has his own clothing line and three radio shows. And that's not all. He's the co-host of Live with Kelly and Ryan, and he will return to hosting American Idol for the 16th season in 2000. Date. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We're inspired by Ryan's strong work ethic, incredible success, and ambition, not to mention the way he just makes everything look so easy. So, it's time now to take a closer look at this super busy celebrity with 15 things you didn't know about Ryan Seacrest. Number 1. He started on the radio when he was just 16. When Ryan was 16 years old and in high school, he won an internship at an Atlanta radio station. He worked with legendary Atlanta radio personality Tom Sullivan, who taught him the ins and outs of the business. One day when the regular DJ called in sick, Sullivan put the teenage Seacrest on air for the very first show of his broadcasting career. This led to him being given the weekend overnight shift at the station. Number 2. He used to host children's game shows. Ryan started off his Hollywood career by hosting a string of children's game shows that you almost definitely haven't heard of. His first hosting role was with ESPN show Radical Outdoor Challenge in 1992, followed by other kids' shows called Wild Animal Games, Click, and Gladiators. Some clips of these shows are available on YouTube, and if you're a Seacrest fan, we highly suggest you check them out. Number 3. He auditioned to be a judge on American Idol. Ryan originally auditioned to be a judge on American Idol, but he wasn't quite in the same league as Simon Cowell, Paula Abdul, and Randy Jackson. Two days before production began, Ryan was offered the job of co-host instead. Of course, he took that opportunity and co-hosted with comedian Brian Dunkelman that first season. Dunkelman might have quit after season one, but Ryan went on to host 15 more seasons and is set to host the revival of the show in 2018 as well. Number 4. He's largely responsible for the Kardashian media empire. If you love or hate the fact that the Kardashians are basically everywhere, you might have Ryan Seacrest to thank. Ryan was inspired by the Osbournes reality show to find another celebrity family that he could document. He thought that the Kardashians might be a good option, and he had a colleague record them at a family barbecue. After he watched the footage, he quickly went to the executives on the E! channel to pitch Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The show debuted in 2007 with Ryan as the executive producer and has now been running for 14 seasons with several successful spin-off shows as well. Number 5. He Owns a Sushi Restaurant The list of celebrity restaurant owners is quite long, and it includes names like Drake, John Bon Jovi, Sandra Bullock, Jessica Biel, Norman Reedus, and yes, Ryan Seacrest. Ryan co-owns a sushi restaurant called Katana in Los Angeles. Number 6. Ryan Started His Own Production Company in 2006 in 2006, Ryan's production career took off when he signed a three-year, $21 million deal with U.S. cable channel E. Later that year, Ryan started his own production company called Ryan Seacrest Productions. His company produces Keeping Up With The Kardashians, along with all the spin-offs as well as Shaws of Sunset, Married to Jonas, and Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution. Number 7. He's Been Bitten By A Shark in 2008, while swimming in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, Ryan felt a sharp pain. He then spotted a shark in the water next to him, swimming away. When he examined the wound on his toe, he found a shark's tooth lodged in his skin. Ryan said it was a scary experience, but he was lucky to have not been seriously injured. 
Number 8. He Dropped Out of College in 1992, 18-year-old Ryan enrolled at the University of Georgia where he studied journalism. During this time, he was also hosting a radio show on a local station. After being at college for about a year, Ryan decided to drop out and move to Hollywood to try and break into the broadcasting business there. He promised his parents he would return to school if he wasn't supporting himself within one year. Fortunately, this wasn't necessary. By the time he was 20, he was hosting his own afternoon radio program in LA, called Ryan Seacrest for the Ride Home. The program became the radio station's number one show and was nationally syndicated. In 2016, Seacrest visited the University of Georgia where he had previously been a student and was given an honorary Doctor of Humane Letters degree. Number 9. His net worth is $380 million. As of 2017, Ryan's annual income is about $65 million, and that will probably be increasing by at least $12 million in 2018 with the revival of American Idol. In total, his net worth is around $380 million. Number 10. Ryan is the highest paid reality television host. When Ryan Seacrest went from making $5 million per season of American Idol to signing a three-year hosting deal in 2009 for $45 million, he became the highest paid reality television host in the world. For comparison, Carson Daly earns about $1 million to host a season of The Voice, and Nick Cannon earned about $1.6 million to host America's Got Talent before he resigned. Seacrest is expected to take a bit of a pay cut for the Idol revival that starts in March 2018, but he will still likely be making $12 million per episode. Katy Perry, on the other hand, will make about $25 million as a judge. If you want to learn some more interesting facts about the singer, click in the upper right hand corner to watch our video of 15 things you didn't know about Katy Perry. Number 11. He started his own clothing line in 2014. Ryan Seacrest Distinction is the name of Seacrest's clothing line, which has been available exclusively at Macy's since 2014. The line primarily offers classic menswear, including suits, jackets, pants, shirts, and ties. He got advice and guidance from Christopher Bailey of Burberry, who made all of Ryan's suits before he had his own brand. He previously launched an unsuccessful high-end t-shirt company that shut down in 2005. Number 12. Ryan's car collection includes a Bentley Flying Spur and a Rolls-Royce Ghost. One of Ryan's favorite cars is his $200,000 Bentley Flying Spur, but he has several other luxury vehicles in his collection, including a Rolls-Royce Ghost, Aston Martin DB9, and Aston Martin Vanquish. Number 13. He bought Ellen DeGeneres' mansion in 2012. Back in 2012, Ryan sold the mansion that he had bought from Kevin Costner and bought another mansion from Ellen DeGeneres for $37 million. The 9,200 square foot home on three acres has nine bedrooms and two guest houses, and there is an additional three bedroom home on the property. Ryan lived there for two years with his girlfriend at the time, Julianne Huff, but she continued living there after they broke up while he moved on. Number 14. He got hit by a car while riding his bike. Two weeks into his new healthy habit of riding his bike, Seacrest was in a bike lane in LA when a young woman drifted into his lane and ran into his bike, causing him to hit his helmeted head on the curb and scrape up his arms while another bike crashed on top of him. He says the driver had a lot of attitude and gave him a hard time, even though she was the one who ran into him. Ultimately, he let her off the hook and didn't press charges. Number 15. He was nominated for an American Idol Emmy 12 times but never won. Seacrest was nominated for six Emmys for Outstanding Host for Reality Program and six Emmys for Outstanding Reality Competition Program, but he didn't win any of them. Ryan's only Emmy comes from being a producer of Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution in 2010. Now that you've learned some more about Ryan Seacrest, we have a question for you. Since he seems to be everywhere, we'd like to know. Do you think there is such a thing as too much Ryan Seacrest? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. Ryan had a very memorable cameo in the 2007 movie Knocked Up. Acting as a satirical version of himself in the scene, Ryan threw a fit and had a meltdown complete with a couple of F-bombs after Jessica Simpson showed up late for an interview. In an interview with GQ, Seacrest said the frustration and anger he showed towards celebrities in that scene came from a very real place, and although he hopes he's not that arrogant in real life, the impatience he showed was definitely real. 
thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.